Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, um, I'm going to be showing you how I added the font to my text. It's pretty easy, um, so just follow along and I will teach you how to do it. Um, yeah, so it's pretty easy. First, first you want to get your text, change it to whatever color you like, and then um, don't add a font. And obviously, when you click font asset, there's not much that appears. Well. The only reason I have this is because I have some fonts, but it should only show up here, and obviously it's just these, and it's pretty lame, so you want to add something to it. I'm going to turn on the lights, by the way. Um, so what you want to do, you want to go to um, this website, fonts.webtoolhub.com, um, and you want to, and you can like search a font, there's there are a bunch of free fonts here, so like most games use pixel font. Or maybe Comic Sans, as some games use, like maybe Bird Runners. We're going to we're gonna wait for this to load since it's and yeah, as you can see, we have a bunch of cool fonts, um, and they all look really good. And then there's more pages if you do not like any of them. And um, yeah, that one looks pretty good. Um, I used to use this one. Um, and yeah, but the point is, um, once you've chosen your font, you click download, you click download again, and then you enter this, and you should download a .ttf file. And what you want to do, you just want to import that .ttf file into your text mesh pro folder. So obviously we have, um, this is, wait, I can't find it, but, um, but once you have your .ttf file, um, in your um, game, which obviously just to import new asset and then get it in. And then once you, um, once you're done with that, you go to window and you want to go to text mesh pro and font asset creator. And then you do, um, you choose your font, which I have, uh, quite a few here. I'll use, um, I don't know, maybe this one as an example. You want to click generate font a lot, Atlas and save. And you just want to save. And bam. And now you go onto your text here, and we have our font. And actually, this doesn't look too bad. I might use this for something, but yeah, that's how you get fonts into your game. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me know if you enjoyed. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.